let's calculate the intrinsic value using my 30-year intrinsic value model, a variation on the discounted cash flow model. First, we get the stock's earnings per share. This is often reported with the trailing 12-month designation. Next, we get Wall Street's projected earnings growth for the next five years, compounded annually. This is our base growth for the first five years. We then need to make several assumptions. For years 6 to 10, we assume growth will continue to match the long-term inflation rate of 3%. For years 11 to 20, we then assume growth will stop growing. For years 21 to 30, we assume growth will decline 3% per year for that decade. And going forward, we assume growth will decline a further 5% per year until the end of time. We're aiming for a 10% annual return on investments, which matches the long-term returns of the S&P 500. If we want a higher return, the numbers would need to be adjusted, often requiring a much lower stock price relative to its intrinsic value. As we put everything together, we get the stock's intrinsic value, which we can compare with the stock's current price. Relative value tells us if the stock is worth buying right now. As an option, you can include a 10% margin of safety, which accounts for any errors by making the stock more overvalued. Of course, there's more than just the price. Invest wisely, and as always, Take care of your money.